Okay. Yes. Part one of this finishing cycle was great. I'm looking forward to part two here. Let's go. Nice. Let's jump straight into it. This first one begins with a pass into the striker for the ball to be set back before being played through for the third man run in behind to finish. Our second combination involves some short dribbling and turning with a first pass at an angle for our support player to take. They dribble the ball before quickly turning to play into our striker's feet to play through for the overlapping player to finish. Combination three again. Begins with a short pass at an angle to our deeper player who plays a one touch pass into the striker. If possible, the striker then plays on one touch for the runner to finish. This fourth combination is triggered by a player's run off the ball with a quick shuttle run before receiving a short pass to play into the striker. The same player makes a run past the striker to get onto the end of the through ball to shoot. We finish with the most straightforward and commonly used up back and through combination to finish in the box. These are fantastic. I used part one last week and my players will be using part two this week uh, for sure. Thanks for the ideas.